G'day, I'm back, and this week I'd like to talk to you about something particularly important that's been in the media recently. Now, one of the jobs we do at Dipti is to provide facilities maintenance services to over 4,000 different government buildings, schools, hospitals, police stations, offices, any government occupied premises around the state. This is done under something called the Across Government Facilities Management Arrangement, but that's a bit of a mouthful, so we call it AGFMA for short. Now, the team at AGFMA work with 33 different government departments and a range of service providers to ensure that these premises are well maintained. And there's many great stories that we could tell about the fine job that this team does day in and day out. But sadly, one day in 2016, there was a workplace accident at a premises maintained under AGFMA that resulted in the death of an employee working there. If you've been watching the media, then you will know that at the police, it was at the police training college in Achunga and that Safe Work SA subsequently investigated it and brought charges against both police and Dipti. But Dipti has given a legally enforceable undertaking too to a clear set of actions that will ensure the systems of work that are used in, in AGFMA continue to maintain safety. Now, in fact, there's been a lot of work done already since 2016, but we've laid out this commitment to be really clear about continuing to focus on improving the systems that assure safety. And this is something that's important for everyone at Dipti, not just in AGFMA, but in all of the work we do. So this particular incident and the recent reporting of it is a sobering reminder of the importance of ensuring safety at work and being continually vigilant. It's an opportunity for us to reflect on the role and the responsibility that we play and make a renewed commitment to ensuring safety. So this week, my message to you is let's pause and reflect and make the commitment to keeping our workplace safe.